Well, I'm here with a an MGB dash that is badly cracked. Some of the cracks are quite deep, as you can see here, and there are a lot of them. These are kind of closer together. Not very good. So I'm doing a little experiment instead of spending $240 for a new unit. I'm going to try and repair this and what I'm doing is I'm using super glue, not super glue, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue is really cool stuff. It expands into a really hard foam which I think is similar in consistency to the foam that's already in the dash. So it expands and fills up pretty good sized gaps. My plan is to fill in these gaps and uh, then sand it down and then I'm going to put some truck bed liner from a spray can and coat the entire thing and I'm hoping that that looks presentable when I'm done. One of the things about Gorilla Glue is that it really likes moisture so I started out with this repair by taking a little brush and putting some water on the inside of the crack and kind of coating the whole area with water, wiping it dry, letting it set for a little bit. And then I just dabbed a bunch of this uh, Gorilla Glue into the crack and uh, waited for it to, you can see the crack kind of extends on the underside as well. And you can see how the foam has expanded. So hopefully this will work. I will give you an update a little bit later. Okay, let's get started with this crack. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some water and a little brush and I'm just going to make sure that this whole area gets nice and damp. Gorilla Glue just loves this moisture and foams up nicely when it's wet. So that is what we're going to do here. Just put some water in that, let it kind of sink in. Let it really spread out inside. And then we're just going to wipe some of the excess off. Okay. Okay, we're ready for the next step. It, the uh, crack is nice and wet, and I've got a nice little piece of wire here kind of a thin wire and I'm just going to go ahead and dip it into the super glue, get a little on there kind of like that and then I'm going to work it into the crack kind of like that get some more and just keep working my way right into this crack and uh, you know don't be gentle put plenty in there the more it expands the better off it's going to be these crack parts really want it to kind of expand right into all of these parts later on I'm going to tape this together with some masking tape to make sure that that stays in place. Okay, there's part two. See you in a while. Okay, here we are 24 hours later and you can see that the 
Gorilla Glue has expanded and turned into like a foam and all of my repairs look pretty good. So my next step is that I'm going to sand all of these repaired spots down and then I'm going to apply a little bit more Gorilla Glue and water to fill in any gaps that are left and then I'll check back in. Okay, I have finished with my Gorilla Glue repair. The stuff is super sticky. Really <laughs> adheres to this this uh, plastic coating and uh, all the cracks are now repaired they're not perfect, but I, I'm hoping that some of these defects are going to be covered up by the truck bed liner I bought. I've sanded the entire dashboard down with 220 grit sandpaper, and now I'm ready to coat it, and I'm choosing this uh, Duplicolor truck bed coating. So, I will check back with you when I'm done. So it dries to a pretty nice flat finish. It was a little bit challenging getting the paint on smoothly. So there's a few blotches here and there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this thing came out. And I think that's going to look fine once I put it back in the car. And so there you have it. Fixing an old cracked dashboard assembly using Gorilla Glue a little bit of elbow grease and some Duplicolor truck bed finish.